got some pretty big news out of air this week. They came out with a brand new travel collection. You guys already know I'm an air fanboy. We're gonna check this thing out. All right, let's do this from left to right. We got the regular travel pack right here. Then we have the small travel pack. Then we have the Max Sling right here. Now let's run through these things real quick. We'll get the specs knocked out of the way. Now, this is the 35 liter pack right here. It measures 21.5 inches tall, 13 inches wide, and it can expand out to a depth of nine inches. It's 4.2 pounds right here. Now, the small pack, 19 inches tall, 13 inches wide, seven, it can expand out to 7.5 inches, 28 liters, so just a little bit smaller than the 35 liter pack over there, 3.9 pounds. Now, the sling pack, let's get this out of the way. 12 inches wide, nine inches in height, can expand out to a depth of 3.5 inches, weighs one pound. And this is a six liter sling right here. I wanna talk about the packs first. Let's get that out of the way. So what I've noticed on these two packs that they're very damn similar. I think that they're almost damn identical besides this one is 35 liters and this one is 28 liters. But I think since the, you know, the same time, let's just go over the large one. So we're gonna drop the small one out of the way. I like to take people to the cooler sections in packs. The things that I find that are most functional on this pack now on a travel pack one of the things that I guess got to be right it's got to be the harness system so I want to go back there first all right so you do have low lifters right here on this harness system and they work great they pull the shoulder straps up they pull them the load higher and closer to your back the width of the shoulder straps is good good padding good density air does a great job the handles on this pack are excellent you got a big chunky handle on the top of this pack it's on the small one as well they're they're damn it identical right this super chunky grab handle it's got good width to it good padding to it it's like a seat belt webbing material right there it's not only on the top it's on the sides as well these are a little bit thinner on the sides but you do have grab panels on this side also on this side and then you have a thinner grab handle on the bottom i'm guessing that they did it a little thinner on the bottom because you know you'll be setting the bag down a lot so that's one of the things that I really like, the back panel and the grab handles for me were like number one and number two. Now, number three for me is probably the interior of this pack. It, and there's actually a number four too in this pack. One thing that they, you'll notice, they do have compression straps on the sides. Smart Air, Smart Air over here, they move the compression straps out of the zipper path to get into the main section. So these are YKK number 10 zips. They're super smooth. They're all blacked out. Love the hardware on them. The interior space on this 35 liter pack is great. I like, you know, I feel like I can pack out at least for a week. And then once you pack out for a week, that means you can pack out for a month if you're washing clothes, right? So on the lid, you got a large pocket right here, smaller YKK zip finer mesh but it's it's very heavy duty i like the lining that air uses they do, it's like they do the, the 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 real tough 1680d ballistic nylon on the outside this is what this fabric is so it's luggage quality but then they don't skimp when they go into the interior of the bag they actually give you a really high quality interior lining in this bag so i, I feel like this is gonna last for years That's, i'm not sure of the near, the near weight but I'm telling you, this is like a standout feature for me is how heavy duty this material is. You got a little, you know, I got some little hidden pockets in here in the interior. So you got a little hidden pocket here. That's pretty sweet. So you can slide maybe some money. You know, you're traveling, you want to slide your money or your passport out from, you know, the exterior pockets. You want to put it inside your bag a little bit more secure. I definitely see that. There's one more hidden pocket that I discovered. It's over here, little hidden pocket, right here. It's sewn behind this lid pocket panel, little small YKK zip, and it's a good size panel. Maybe, you know, you have some secure documents you wanna slip in there, or anything else. This is a 
very big pocket. So I like shit like that a whole, whole lot. But yeah, this is great interior space for a week, a month, however long you're going to travel. I quickly talked about the outside material. This ballistic nylon is luggage quality. That's that's what it basically boils down to. It's because it's so heavy. And then, you know, it does reflect a little bit in the weight because the 35 liter pack is 4.2 pounds. So it does reflect a little bit in the weight. So it's a little bit heavier, but I'm willing to sacrifice that weight if that means that my pack is gonna last for years. And that 1680D should stand up for years. Now, the fourth thing that I said, I got the wrong fingers. The fourth thing that I wanted to talk about that I really enjoy on this pack or like on this pack is the organization in the front. I like this admin panel that they put together. You got a number of slip pockets, you got a zippered pocket, and again, you just continuation of that heavy, high quality interior lining. So you got a slip pack pocket up here that goes all the way down to my wrist. Then you have a zipper pocket, come back with a zipper pocket, that's awesome. Then you have these slip pockets. Well, yeah, these slip pockets that have like a elastic top to them, little pin slots. I mean, I can organize all of my tech stuff. That's where I would kind of house that stuff. And then if this is gonna be my carry-on, this is gonna be great under the seat where I can just unzip and then get to all of my like my headphones and different stuff like that. This is you know great little pockets in here. I like the organization. It's simple but really really functional. And then you even have some additional space down here to put whatever you want. But they didn't stop there with the organization. I like that they have an exterior, couple of exterior pockets on this pack, right? So you got this one pocket right here. Is like this is signature air. That's one thing about air. It's like they're perfecting this thing. They're not like, they're, they, they created this pack, this, these travel packs, and every iteration gets a little bit better. You know, every iteration is some tweaks, they take some things away, then they put some things back. So I like that. They listen to the consumers, people that are buying these packs. This is just a big dump pocket. There is like a key keeper in there with the metal hook. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little longer, you know, a little longer. I like the, when these like key leashes when you can actually access a lot with them. So I think you could do that with there. Like the hardware, they always put the nice little lanyards on there so you nice pull, zippers work great. They put the tabs on there so you can pull, you know, and just close the thing up. And then Air's been sticking with this design for a while. Now let's flip them around to the socks. I already said they got compression straps on them. These are fit locks right here. So they're magnets and you just kind of squeeze them let me show you. You kind of squeeze them together and then they come apart. Squeeze them and they come apart. That's that's slick. So then you got a pocket on this side. So you can slip maybe some items that you got to get to quickly. I'm thinking I'm going to put my passport in here like when I'm going through the airport and then once I get to my destination, I'll stick the passport in the inside in a more secure pocket. But like, as I'm going through the airport, I want quick access to my, you know, my flight coupons and things like that. So I think that's a great place for those. Now on the other side, you have your compression straps, but you also have a water bottle compartment. Then they did it really right. So it's a lay flat design with that 1680D ballistic nylon. You unzip and then you get a lot of space there so you can, so you can put in like a water bottle, bottle like this one where you can slide it in and it seats in there really well. You could even, if you had a smaller water bottle, you could zip it up and you get even more security with it. So I actually like that a whole lot that they designed that water bottle really well and it comes up over the water bottle so it's not gonna just fall out. So that's a pretty dope design. So minimal branding, Air always does minimal branding. You have the tag here that says Air and then on the shoulder strap, right here it's got a little tag that says air other companies take notice take notes if you would minimal branding is all we need we don't need your whole logo of plastered across the back so you got a d hook right here maybe if you want to hook in a carabiner or something on the outside of the bag you could and then hook your your keys or something like that back to the top of the bag you have a quick access compartment 
which is really decent. You could put a larger cell phone in there, cell phone, wallet, keys, and it's like a padded, it's a padded section in there, and it feels really good. It's got, you know, it's not like high-vis lining, it's just the dark black, but that, that, that fleece is, feels good to my hands. I actually like that a lot. And then for my computer folks, the folks that can't travel without their computer, I like the vertical access, like top-down access that Air does in their laptop. It's got that accordion style, so you actually have a suspended laptop compartment, and it's suspended a good amount, like, like that much off the bottom, and you can also stick your, your papers in there. Now, one thing that I'm saying that I'm missing is maybe a tablet sleeve in here. So I don't have my tablet sleeve, but I do have like two sections where I can stick some things in. And then Air put another little, they did these little hidden pockets really well throughout this bag. There's a pocket right here inside of the bag. So inside of the laptop compartment, you pull this back a little bit and there's a smaller YKK zip. This is a perfect spot to put like the, the block, the charging block. You can stick that in there. Definitely deep enough and you know, great quality lining. The zipper's on here, a little smaller YKK zip, but it works well. So, you know, you get the air branding in the inside, take notice of the companies, how they do this. This fleece line, the compartment for your laptop feels excellent. Your, your laptop is definitely gonna be protected. You know, this is not Air's first rodeo. They've done this travel bag, what, three times? So, you know, after you do something three times, you are going to have it right. These, zip, these zippers over your laptop compartment um, are lockable. The zippers over the main section are lockable. The zippers over the admin section are lockable. So throughout the airport, you're going three separate locks if you want. Going through, through the airport, if you really need to lock down your stuff. But we got to go back to the back panel and just talk about that really quickly because why not? Um, because it's an important part. So you got the two tenderloin cushions right here. The mesh that they use, it feels good, feels sturdy. This is probably a half an inch of cushion back here. It's not like a really rigid frame sheet in this bag though. You know, it's not really rigid. It's, it's a nice contour. It's got a natural, nice contour. And I got the shoulder straps kind of jacked up with the load lifters right now, but it does, you can see that nice kind of contour in the bag. So that's a good thing. It's gonna to contour to your back really well. And then you also have a luggage pass-through. So, you know, if you wanna slide, slide your thing when you roll a bag, now you're carrying two bags at once, call me 007, you know? So this is the travel bag. Now, the 35 and the 28, I didn't really see too much of a difference. I really think it's, it's just about the capacity of the bag. Both of the grab handles feel straight. I mean, on the 28, it's got the same pocketing, same little D-rings on the side, same water bottle pocket, same grab handles on either side and on the bottom. I mean, we're really just talking about what size suits you. If, if you're a bigger guy or you got a lot of stuff, I go 35. For me, I'm gonna go 35 because, you know, I'm gonna go on vacation, I'm gonna go travel, and I'm gonna buy some t-shirts and stuff. So I'm gonna need that space. If you're, a, you know, like a, a female, you're not packing too much, it, or you're just doing maybe overnight trips, one day one day or two day trips, maybe the 28 is, is the option for you. But for my money, if I'm gonna spend the money, I'm gonna get 35 liters, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get 35 liters. Last thing we're gonna talk about is the sling pack. The sling pack. And you guys know that I have moved to using sling packs in my everyday carry. So every time now when I see a sling, I'm like, yo, I wanna try that out. <laughs> I wanna try that out. So I'm gonna be trying this one out. But let's go through it real, you know, off the top. This is made out of the same material that the, the, the bags are made out of. So it's a 1680D ballistic nylon. YKK, you know, zippers, blacked out number 10 Aqua Guard zippers. Great, great materials. So you got a pocket right here on the front. <laughs> Air does the same. It's got the nice lining in the inside. You do have like the, the key keeper, a longer key keeper, metal key keeper. Like it. Now this is not the small dainty sling. This is, this is official tissue. You know what I mean? Like you could actually pack out this thing and put in some things that you're gonna need for the day. 
So that's that's for me. That's a great great thing. Um, so that's the main the front pocket right here. Now let's go into the the main section. It kind of like you know opens up like this is like a big hot dog bun to me. That's how, that's when I opened it up at first. I was like, okay, this is like a big old hot dog bun. Anyway, so same kind of design or same kind of organization. Slip pockets is what Air went to. So you got a slip pocket here. A slip pocket here, slip pockets in the front, this slip pocket in front, a lot of organization. I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking knives, I'm thinking flashlights, I'm thinking uh, hard drives, I'm thinking, you know, battery banks, I'm thinking all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of organization in here, kind of in comparison to, to some other sling bags that I've been re reviewed recently. This one has a lot. So you got a slip pocket in back here in the back, the air branding right there inside of the bag, not outside of the bag, over top of the bag, showing everybody what you rocking with, you know, inside of the bag done real subtly. Um, the zippers on this one are, you know, on the main section are a smaller zipper. Like they put a big chunky number 10 zipper on the outside in the front, but on the, on the top, it's like a number five or a number eight. YKK zipper now flip around to the back grab they have a grab handle I think on these larger slings I look for this grab handle you know like I, I use a lot the um, green room 136 Metro runner and so I look for that grab handle a lot on these larger slings so you got a nice little silky like seat belt webbing grab handle right here then you have a hook kind of if you want to hang it up on something and then you have a pocket back here in the back where you could just, you know, may I see like your more secure pocket. You want to put your money back there. Or if you, you're rocking this in addition to one of the bags, like the travel bags, you're going to put maybe your passports and your wallet in here. So that's one thing. Now, there's one complaint about this thing. And I pulled, I pulled it out of the, the box. I was like, ooh, six, this is a six liter sling. When, with these larger slings, I really like them to have some type of padding. Alpaca gear does a really good, they have like this, the padding, if it's, you know, it's a padded strap. It's, does it make it like a, 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 like a two or three inch, you know, strap on it? They just take those, the regular strap, this two inch strap or inch and a half strap, and then they pad it inside. I think that's a good option, but this one doesn't have any padding. And I feel like six liters is, is, is a substantial amount of stuff. So I'm gonna really have to try this out to see, you know, if it's gonna be comfortable for me because I'm used to, like on these largest things, I'm used to having some kind of padding. Now, you do have a fit lock. You guys know how fit locks work. They got magnets in them, y'all. So you slide them like that. That kind of makes it slide in and off really easily. And they're great. I mean, it makes it really convenient. So yeah, this is a, you know, different little option. Kind of looks like, you know, like a football, like you could throw it. But anyway, this this is the sling pack. So the Day Max sling. And they have a smaller one. Like if this is too big, you got a smaller one. So this the sling is 95 bucks. 95 bucks for this. We gotta talk about prices. We, like, we, it's not a video unless you're talking about the price. Like, how do you make a purchasing decision? How do you know if what you want to buy? You know, if, if we're not talking about putting prices on things it's kind of crazy all right so the the regular one the regular travel pack is 249 the small travel pack is 229 george what do you think man you know what i'm saying i got i got 250 bucks i want to buy a travel bag what do you think i think these are a go i think they're a win both of these packs are the, identically the same air stuff lasts for years the sling bag um I don't know if I'm feeling this, to be totally honest. Uh, I really wish this thing had a pad, but I need, to, I need to test it out. Like I can't render a verdict without being like, you know, like put it through its paces. I can, you know, I, I think I think it's gonna last, well, for, but my thing is, is it gonna be comfortable? Cause I really want that, that pad on this strap. I really do, especially for six liters. But yeah, that's kind of my first impressions, my, uh, my thoughts about these bags, like, yeah, Eric. I mean, just keep on improving. I'm sure they'll get a lot of feedback and comments about the, this, these two travel bags and the sling, and they'll continue to improve. But 
you know, for right now, right here, these are some great bags. Guys, thanks for watching George Define. If you like this video, man, hit the thumbs up button. If you love the content, then subscribe to the channel because we always got room for more subscribers. And if you got a question, you leave it down there in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Yeah. Peace. I pull up you deep on my niggas, consider it's pivotal Trap through the app, make her clap it, though cap it, she tapping it fast I think that she know they be catching it Standing six feet up, casting a shadow of niggas They talk like they bad as they know that we bad as they talk far from actual I make the way so tsunami, I dare you to paddle in The trunk steady rattling Blowing top tier to keep my thoughts clear I see the opt in there, I'm on my shot, call it big boss